Hi, I'm Laura Manick. I'm so excited about the weekly tasting. This week, we're talking all about Grenache. Grenache is also known as Garnacha and Cananao, amongst many other names. But really, we're globetrotting all over the world in search of my favorite grape, which is Grenache. So we have four different reds, and they're all Grenache. There's actually one that's a blend. Uh, we're talking about Grenache from right outside of Madrid, talking about a Grenache from Australia, Grenache that's blended with Syrah and Morvedra from the Rhone Valley, and then finally, another uh, example of Grenache from Spain, this time from Catalonia. Our first wine is Grenache based, as I mentioned, the whole pack is all about Grenache. And this particular wine is a new discovery for me. I'd never heard of this region or this winery, but this is Jimenez Landi. It's a wine from Mentrida, and Mentrida is an area just southwest of Madrid in Spain. Actually, my hero and uh, favorite wine critic, I guess you can call her, is Jancis Robinson, and she's talking about this wine in, in her blogs as like one of the best values, one of the most exciting wines she's found thus far. So, not to sound like a commercial, but I agree with you, Jancis. Wow. So one of the things I love the most about Grenache is that it's fresh and clean. You can see this color. Man, it's light. Kind of like the body of a Pinot Noir. Even so much so that the texture is the same as Pinot Noir. But sometimes, and this is kind of a compliment to Pinot Noir, it's too tart, it's too acidic, and it's really kind of like um, not a lot of fruit. And yeah, it can be fruity in California, but Grenache is always sun-kissed. It's always that sort of sappy, jammy, raisinated version of Pinot Noir. Well, raisinated maybe not quite so, but really, just like a little more exotic. I love saying that Mentrita, or this uh, Grenache, Garnacha, is like sun-kissed Pinot Noir. Cheers. Our second wine is probably a wine of you, you, <laughs> have heard of. It's called Côte de Rhone, and Côte de Rhone is a region in the southeast part of France. So um, Côte de Rhone is delicious. Sorry, wrong bottle. Côte de Rhone is delicious. This one is Jean-Louis, um, and this Côte de Rhone is a blend of mostly my favorite grape Grenache, 85%, and about 10% Syrah, and 5% a grape called Morvedra. And these are typical, these grapes are blended um, often, and not just in the Rhone Valley, but also in other places in the world. The idea is what one grape lacks, the other grape makes up for. So when you're looking at Grenache, remember that light-skinned, kind of like transparent, looks like Pinot Noir color. Well, in um, this blend, you do have some of that, but then the, the Syrah gives it a little bit more purple uh, kind of notes. The white pepper from the Grenache, the black pepper from the Syrah, and a little bit more color even from the Morvedra. This is a wine that is French, and as such, it is a little bit more earthy and not as fruity as some of the other Grenaches out there in the market, like let's say from Australia, and we're gonna try one next. But it also has a little bit more body. This is a wine that you could definitely have with like burgers. And actually last night I made the juiciest burger and opened these wines. These wines are still good the next day. I put a little chill on them just so that I could um, have that freshness that you want in a red wine. And the burger last night or the grilled eggplant I made was perfect, especially with a little ketchup because the ketchup is slightly sweet and the burger meat, oh my God, so delicious. So we're gonna get a little bit more fruity here with the Yeldara Grenache, and this Grenache is from Australia, specifically South Australia. Actually, it's from the Barossa Valley. You might know this region from all your delicious, like kind of minty, really big Shiraz, um, but this is Grenache 100%, and it's called Reuben. And um, this Grenache is really showing all of the versatility and the many faces of Grenache, which is why I love it. I mean. This is the perfect example of sweet and sour fruit. And when I say that, what I mean is you just get like this jammy, jammy, juicy, sweet fruit. Again, like kind of like a ketchup, how it's made from a tomato, but it can give you that sweet condensed flavor. And then it has like a ton of like almost sausage and a meaty quality. I often say Grenache has like a ham, like a barico ham or um, pata negra or um, Hamon Serrano nose, like it smells like cured meat. And this one, it's 
This is dreamy wine. I'm so excited for you to bring this to your friends and say, if you like Pinot Noir from the Russian River Valley, you're gonna love the Yaldara Garnache, Grenache rather, because it is Australia. Cheers. The uh, fourth wine, it's Grenache, as you guessed. It is Bodegas Pugron, and this wine is delicious. This is my favorite out of all of them, and you're not supposed to say that you have a favorite out of the pack because they're all delicious. Um, but this is, this is from Catalonia. It's the ancestral home of Garnacha. When you think about this grape, this is like kind of all of these wines put into one. It's a little bit fuller, a little bit bigger, a little bit juicier, a little bit peppery. This is like, yeah, this is like Iberico ham. So olive, pepper, juicy, fresh, fleshy. This is pretty much Cabernet drinker. They're gonna love it. It might be a little bit light in color, so they might be like, I don't know. But when they have it, they're gonna be like, wow, that is so good. Pinot Noir drinker is gonna love you for introducing them to Garnacha too, because they're gonna save money. These are grapes that, you know, can, I mean, a third of the price of Pinot Noir. So I'm all about Garnacha, I hope you are too. That's a wrap. What's to know about Grenache? Let's recap. Garnacha, another name for Grenache, also known as Cananao in Sardinia. Grenache is like sun-kissed Pinot Noir, it goes with everything. It's a wine that most people haven't heard of, or if they have had Cotarone, they're not even sure what the grape is. This is my favorite grape, or one of many of my favorite grapes, but I want it to be yours too. I hope you enjoy our weekly tasting. I'm thrilled uh, to make these videos because it's really my chance to teach you a little bit more about wine. Tag us on Instagram, Facebook, and let us know which one of these favorites was your favorite of this pack. Thanks.